an antebellum plantation in Wallace, Louisiana, about 35 miles west of New Orleans, is set to open December 8th as a memorial and museum to honor slaves who once worked the swampy flatlands of southern Louisiana. The Whitney Plantation, started in the 1700s, will be one of the only historic sites in the U.S. focused solely on the slave experience. Uh, I think there, there is a lot of, uh, I may say, a lack of education about slavery, even among the African-American people. First of all, people need to know why it happened. Why it happened? And why it happened to those people? Why Africans? And what are the consequences of slavery? John Cummings, a 77-year-old white trial lawyer and real estate developer who has spent more than 15 years on this project, said his goal is for something that goes beyond a traditional museum. We want everybody to be involved. We want to have associations with all museums. We'll volunteer to share our work with all of the museums. Anything that we discover will be published. It'll be on the internet. We believe in that. We invite everyone to come to participate. The Whitney Plantation incorporates installations such as a row of ceramic African-American heads on rods to recall the execution of slaves who rebelled near the plantation in 1811. A bare-breasted angel statue holding up a baby to mourn children who died in slavery and rows of plaques simply listing thousands of slaves' names. Whoever comes here, whatever the color or the color of your skin, you will find a place where you can get educated about slavery. And I we hope that once you, the, the people come here, when they leave, they're going to be, they will be willing to do something about slavery, about the legacies of slavery. Some experts have questioned whether exhibits like the ones at the plantation are designed to elicit an emotional reaction to slavery's horror, rather than just present historic facts about the harsh realities of slave life. Other museums focused solely on slavery have struggled or failed, but staff at the Whitney Plantation are hoping their effort will work. It's a strange undertaking, and uh, it's certainly not traditional. I think my colleagues in the museum world think you're working for an individual. <laughs> you know, it's, it's sort of a strange structure for a museum, but I think that the work we're doing here is hugely important. 